Hey guys, Creator Mom. So I wanted to share something that I've been learning. I've been learning that I was programmed and trained, or because of my environment, I kind of program and train myself um, to disregard myself. Um, anything that I did, I did not take credit for. Um, I could not be happy for myself. I could not say, wow, look what I've done. You know, it was, I got the message and signal that that was not a safe response. That a safe response was to, I don't even want to use the word humble because humility does have a place. But I got a, 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 a um, you know, a signal that I should lay low and, you know, just be quiet and just be, don't take credit for getting a full scholarship into college, you know, like, because that was one of the main events that happened in my life that was supernatural to me. Because even though, like, I never, I never really put, like, intense effort into school but I put some effort like I didn't fail like I always I kind of got I was like a semi-honor roll student I wasn't like a uh AP student or anything like I might have had an advanced anatomy and physiology like that's it but I wasn't like AP and everything like I was mediocre into you know honor roll I kind of hung out there um I didn't really get C's. Like if I got a C, maybe it would be in math, but then it'd be like more B. I, I, I was like an A, B student. So, um, and I was able to do that pretty, you know, without like extreme effort. But I did put some, I did put effort in. So the thing is, is that I gave, I think I inadvertently gave my mother credit for everything. And I was never really truly acknowledged for the things I had have done. Um, but I was criticized a lot. You know, so anyways, I, I learned, you know, because of the environment and the signals, I'm not going to say somebody else programmed me, but I'm going to say that I program myself to keep myself safe, um, safe from criticisms, right, and things like that. Um, so I, I learned to lay low, duck, keep myself small, not to be open chested and proud and say, "Look what I did." You know, at least I don't. I don't think I did. You know, um, and this is oh yeah, you got a full scholarship, wow, or whatever. It's like oh yeah, like it. It wasn't really me. Like it wasn't because of me. And it was like, okay. So because this um incident that I had where like I basically had like a miracle happen. And again, I was starting to go into that disregard myself mode because I learned because I was pick I was realizing that okay celebrating myself and saying, wow, I'm powerful. Look what I did meant destruction for me. It equated that with destruction, like bad things are going to happen to you if you do that. And I was like, holy shit, this is like a pattern. This is my mind trying to keep me safe from something that I was perceiving as a danger. But it's like, okay, this is awesome. This is perfect because now that I realize what, what I was trying to do to keep myself safe, in this maladaptive belief or whatever, I can change that and I can say, no, 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 okay, let's turn this around. Like, I am going to celebrate myself. I am going to say, wow, I'm powerful because those are the things that are going to keep me on this. I want to be on that loop and I need to tell myself that doing those things does not mean that destruction is going to happen to me and say, no, that's actually not true, Sheena. You know, like, <laughs> that is not true person out there. So learning to disregard myself in order to prevent destruction happening in my life, learning to disregard myself in order to keep myself safe. So I don't have to do that anymore 
Maybe I did have to do that before, but that's why I like all these therapists and things like that, people who specialize in narcissism, tell you to go no contact. Get as far as the way you can mentally, emotionally, physically from this narcissistic person so that you can begin to heal and begin to regard yourself and begin to like develop because if we go on in life continually disregarding ourselves we'll never know what our gifts are we'll never know what our talents are because we've always disregarded ourselves we've never like clapped for ourselves or paid attention to ourselves so anyways this all occurred from me like looking into this fear response that I was having over this miracle that was taking place in my life. It was like another, again, thing where like my my physical abilities were connecting with the divine, with God and grace. And together we're doing magic. So yeah. So I have to choose to be like, okay, you know, I want to let go of this fear response. I don't want this. This is not healthy for me to feel stressed about good things happening in my life. It's safe now to regard myself and to be happy. And to be happy about good things happening to me, you know?